This is the Commission Engine demo for Control Pad. What started the Commission Engine project was we had a client that was taking 36 hours to process commissions. We knew we had to pull out all the stops limiting the speed. That's why we chose C++. Without fully knowing the limitations starting out, if needed, we were willing to explore drastic options like inline assembly or even using a bank of FPGAs creatively. We are lucky to find out the bottlenecks were something much more easily solvable. And if you're still wondering, yes, we drastically sped it up. Starting out, you will need to choose what system you're working in. The Commission Engine supports multiple systems and can be sectioned out at the customer's request. This is a rule-based system designed to accommodate as many different commission structures as possible. This is accomplished by building your rank rules and your commission rules. Rank rules defines what it takes to qualify. It is also able to qualify different, multiple different ways. Commission rules determines what the payout percentage will be inside of each generation. Now that you have your commis commission structure designed, you can run simulations on it. This way you can make sure your commission payout falls in the ballpark between enough to motivate people and not so much that you break the bank. The Commission Engine is API based. This way you only need to drop a couple snippets of code to be up and running overnight. Just in case there was a problem brought to your attention, you can adjust the users and receipts data through this interface. Pools are available for those companies looking to increase motivation. The bonuses design was added to accommodate commission designs completely out of the norm. Once everything is in place, it is time to run commissions, depending on what you selected when you created the current system. It will either run monthly, weekly, daily, on the nightly cron, or API driven where you have complete control over when your commission run happens. After a commission run is finished, fraud management is the next step. Fraud management helps detect and mitigate people trying to break your system. Viewing ledger balance and receipt summation initially brings possible violations to the top, such as the receipt summation. Do you honestly think the top user has made 933 purchases? Or the sales amount over $17,000? Probably not, but this is a starting point to find out why. Authorizing payments is the last step. This can be turned off to automatically happen when you feel confident everything is running smooth. Once you've authorized all the payments that you think are valid, then you can either wait for the nightly cron job to process it, or you can push it through with on-demand ACH. There are other reports available to answer in-depth questions, but I'll leave that for another day for another demo. Thank you for watching.